Well, here we are. We took her out for a rip this weekend. It was uh, Patrick Bell's birthday. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, so lots of crazy, crazy ripping for sure to be had. And, uh, but yeah, we've got this STM. So I've got a good idea how the bike's working and it's working amazing, it truly is. Um, she's putting down a lot of that power that uh, Andy and I were looking to access. And uh, yeah, man, pretty stoked. So we're going the extra mile because we got access to the dyno, why not? We're gonna go back to the dyno as well. I was already talking to Andy. I'm just gonna loosen off this clutch bolts and then I'm gonna get to uh, popping the secondary because what's in the box is exactly that, right? STM secondary, so it should be pretty sweet. Easy does it. Nice and easy on our gasket, which looks pretty much immaculate. A little bit of belt dust, but uh, oh yeah, see a little bit there from those dyno poles, guaranteed. It's high gear. I do gotta remove this stud. Leave the jam nut. And crank off the back guy. And hopefully that should release it. How's everything breaking in with you? You look good. Colors well all the way. Yeah, it's just a little, it's just a tiny, tiny layer of dust. We'll clean them right up. We'll clean them right up. But uh, first order of business is gonna be getting the secondary off. I've had them come off pretty easy and I've had them fight. So we'll see which one this wants to be. If I recall, I think the post is about 50 pounds torqued in and I think, uh, what was it, like 15 and 180 for your stock secondary torque to yield. Um, I prefer the setup that STM comes with. Check this out, old boys. Got a helix caught in here. Couple helixes. Set those aside. Some springs and options, right? Jacuzzi, a couple stickers, really nice. Check those out. Yeah, but they sure did. Look at that. Pure joy. Happy, happy joy, joy. But like I said, first order of business is getting that guy off. We're gonna have to find out if she wants to be cool about it or, or not. Well, it could have been a 16. It could have been. It was an odd size somewhere on the Renegade. That might have been the one. Come on now, where are you? A couple 13s, five eights. I see another 17. One thing about not having your wrenches all separated right there is a real pain in the hoop. Yeah, she was the odd one out, the old 16 it was. I was talking to myself, I turned you guys off, but this is the this is the secondary bolt that I'm removing right now. I happen to have one in the box, which is nice because it gives me extra jam nuts. Because sometimes when you get onto this, it just spins the other jam nut, but it um, gives you an idea of what you're looking at, so, yep. They're not to be reused, right? Stretch bolts, torque to yield. Uh, 15 with a 180. This is the one we were using for before, right? Oh yeah, all right, we decided we we're gonna take the belt out. We did, so. And away she goes. Scotch braid I always keep around for uh, when I take the belt off. Now I'll go up the sides of it and just take away any Light glazing that might be starting to happen or precautionary maintenance. I'm sure that's probably gonna make it pretty easy. However, it doesn't look bad. Not too bad. But we'll uh, we'll make sure we scuff up the edges of that. Get her looking mint. A U-bolt cut in half. That's what you're looking at. 
So this is what I got, eh? She's spring loaded, so if it comes off, yeah, it's moving. Now we're gonna wanna start putting some inner force on it, because she's gonna try to shoot out at me. And we are doing this by ourselves. Paul's oh, bringing the jam nut now, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Maybe we're not getting her. Yeah. yeah, that's what I thought. But we might as well take the secondary off now, I guess. I'll tell ya. We can get it out around there, I guess. Come on now. Springs in there good. Nice. Well, I'll be dead. It worked. Just had to give her a better snug and a second go at her. And boys, we're out. We are out. Decent. Everything looks oh so nice when they're brand new, eh? Not too bad. She fought a little bit, but to be expected, I suppose. Oh, and there's the thing of beauty. What a sweet piece of engineering this is. This bad boy is going to slide in there nicely. And then she's going to, just like so, jump onto those spines. Oh. You guys see that? So yeah, I'll button her up. I'll put the old torque on her. It's that easy. Oh, that looks nice. A little clutch and pulley cleaner. And let's get some of that oil out of there. Take some of the crap off of our primary while we're here again too. From that new belt, the break-in is to be expected. Yeah, I can see lots of belt dust there. Look at it. Look at it, boys. Look at it, I say. I'm gonna dress the edges over. You're basically just knocking off. Any like glazing? Giving a little bit of tacky texture back to her. This is just service for your belt. You can do this every once in a while. It's not bad. If you want that good grip. It'll make sure you're getting debris, any foreign materials, any oil, anything like that. Might have gotten on your clutches in the process. We got most of it on me. All right, rotation, always legible. She going this way. I'll let that sit down in there. Roll this bad boy around here. This, we're in there. Simple as that. She's a quick and easy process, really.
set our belt tool aside. Plenty. Once you get the clog out of there, eh? days. So, first setup we're going to try is the lime green. The way up can the center to us, the way she's going to go. Hell yeah. Ready for another rep. Everything looks good. Sweet. Sweet! Thirty-five forty encapsulated is what we got on there for the secondary lime green spring. You're gonna have two of the shims for belt lash. Actually, that's better. It's built perfect, really. So that's our first setup, right? We've got the uh, pink we can go with. That's gonna dumb it down for trail mode. I'm thinking, right? Obviously, and if we go ever decide to go thirty sixers or something stupid, that blue spring is gonna be all we're gonna ever need. This would probably still work, but uh, I would try that. I certainly would. Um, so and we've got a couple more uh helixes there too so we can try a different um a different band of power so yeah man this should be pretty cool we'll get some pictures slap this thing back together let's go for a rip shout out to stm for kick-ass products what a pair